Hello, Warrior Nation. I'm Nick Nabbitt, principal of Goshen High School. This is the October newsletter. A very important message that I want to talk about with the parents and students at Goshen High School is about our AP and dual credit classes. And these are classes that we offer here at Goshen High School uh, to help ensure that our students are getting the rigor that they need uh, when they leave Goshen High School to go off to their endeavors. AP and dual credit courses are courses that are college courses that students do not have to pay for that when they achieve a certain score in a test or a certain grade of a B or better they earn college credit. As we know uh, college is very expensive and here at Goshen High School our students have the opportunity to earn at least two full years of college credit while they're at Goshen High School without ever leaving the doors of Goshen High School. If you'd like further information about our AP and dual credit classes, please don't hesitate to call myself or the guidance counselors uh, to get your information. We also have information on our guidance section of our school district website uh, that you can look up with for more information about our AP and dual credit classes. Parents, you have the opportunity to meet with your students, uh, teachers, on October 5th and October 10th, and that will be our parent-teacher conference nights here at Goshen High School. Uh, you need to call into the office to, to make an appointment uh, with your teachers beforehand. You would call Mrs. Bailey, our uh, secretary here at the high school, and uh, she can uh, ensure that you get a scheduled time to meet with uh, your child's teachers. Again, that's October 5th, October 10th, and parent-teacher conferences start at 4 o'clock, and they will run to 7 p.m. On October 10th parent-teacher conference night, we're going to have a, a very special evening for our upperclassmen and that will be our financial aid night. This is an important night for our seniors for this is the time when you're going to be wanting to fill out your app college applications and learning about how do you earn money, how do you get financial aid for college. And we will talk you through that process. You'll learn a lot of information on October 10th. That will be from 6 to 7 p.m. It will be held in the Goshen High School community room. And uh, seniors, those of you who do show up to that event, uh, there is a Frisch's uh, breakfast with Mr. Namnit uh, if you get your parents there. On October 11th, it's going to be a very special day here at Goshen High School. We are going to have a late arrival for juniors and seniors because we will be doing the Aspire and, and PSAT testing uh, for our freshmen and sophomores. These tests are important tests that will help measure uh, the ACT success of those students and help us channel their best curriculum direction uh, through the remainder of their high school years uh, through the measurements of these tests. Students, juniors and seniors who will be arriving late need to be here by 11 o'clock and we will uh, come to school with an abbreviated schedule and uh, we'll go from 11 o'clock into first period and lunch will be pushed back uh, just a tad and then we will go into our new bonus bell schedule and we'll hear more about our bonus bell schedule here in a bit uh, but that will be October 11th schedule where we'll have a late arrival for our juniors and seniors and we'll be doing the PSAT test with our sophomores and Inspire testing for our freshmen so that's a big measurement day here at Goshen High School October 11th Folks, I'm very proud and excited to be able to offer the opportunities that we have here at Goshen High School to help our students. And one of those programs we have to help our students achieve better on the ACT is our ACT boot camps. On October 7th, the 14th and the 21st, we're going to have our boot camps for English, Math, and Science. Those boot camps start at approximately 10 o'clock on Rundle noon. It's free to any of our Goshen High School students, and I encourage uh, if your son or daughter has an interest in going on to college, to please show up at these boot camps. And uh, it has proven over the years to be a, a, a big help to our students uh, in increasing their ACT score. So again, October 7th, the 14th, and the 21st will be our next ACT boot camps here at Goshen High School from 10 to noon. Students, parents, on October 16th, there will be no school. Uh, so students you can sleep in and uh, parents just know that uh, that on October 16th uh, there is no school uh, for Goshen High School and that will be because of the parent-teacher conference makeup day.
On October 20th, we're going to have a very special night here at Goshen High School out at uh, Paul Brown Stadium. We are going to be celebrating our senior night for all our fall athletes. Start approximately at uh, 645 uh, in the evening. And so if you're a parent and uh, you have a senior athlete or a band uh, member, October 20th will be a night that we recognize our seniors and it's a very special night as we wind down our fall season. Um, so I look forward to, to seeing everybody at the final football game on October 20th to uh, send away our seniors on their very special night. Seniors, perk your little antennas up. On October 27th, it'll be a special day here for you for Jostens will be here to discuss the cap and gown and ring sizes and things like that that you'll need to know for your uh, senior graduation uh, that will be coming up in May and so we plan for those things now and so on October 27th just know that Joshins is going to be here in the morning uh, at 7:30, and we'll call you down and we're going to uh, have a meeting with them to talk about your announcements rings and your cap and gowns and things and that'll be October 27th in the morning at 7:30 with Joshins. Hello everyone, this is Principal Nick and Abbott here with Student Spotlight for October. Caroline Clifton, junior here at Goshen High School, and Caroline was selected for the Smithsonian Institute Youth Council Program. Caroline, tell us a little bit about uh, how you became part of this program. Um, okay, uh, I went on a field trip with my APUSH class and also with the second graders over at, um, uh, actually the fifth graders over at Spalding Elementary, and we went to the Freedom Center. And at the Freedom Center, um, our tour guide gave us a card that said, um, if any of you guys are interested in our youth docent program, um, you can apply online. And so I applied online, and the deadline was already passed, but I took the entry test, and I scored really well on it. So they said, we'll take you um, this year, right now. So I was able to join the Freedom Center, and at the Freedom Center, um, they chose two of their youth docents. Uh, I think we had about 14 youth docents this year, and they chose two of them to be um, in the Smithsonian Youth uh, Advisory Council. And I was one of those students who were chosen. Caroline, congratulations to you. Thank you. Also, you did an internship down at the Freedom Center, am I correct? Yes. This summer, um, I worked over, I logged over 80 hours at the Freedom Center, giving tours to um, uh, elderly people who are come in on their uh, tour buses, and also to other people who would come in and uh, need a tour. Caroline, um, here at Goshen High School, as a principal, we're very proud of your accomplishments. And I look forward to hearing more about uh, your experiences through this youth council at the Smithsonian Institute. Thank you.